So in this first part of this question, we've asked to simplify um, this uh, vector expression. So if I'm doubling the vector, I double the x value and the y value. And then I'm going to subtract well, it's triple of minus 1, 2. So I, I triple minus 1 and I triple 2. And now I can just add the x part components together and the y components. So I'm going to get 12 minus minus 3, which gives me 15. And minus 6 minus 6 gives me minus 12. And that is my answer. For B, we have another sort of uh, combination of, of vectors, but we don't know what R and S are. We are told, however, that um, A is parallel to the y-axis and the modulus of A is equal to 3. So that means that A is going to go either this way or this way. In both cases, we can see there's no x components. So basically, we can set the x components equal to 0. 6R minus S must equal 0. And therefore, S is equal to 6R. Now, it's probably a good idea at this point to actually combine, like, sort the vector out in terms of R. So, A is going to equal 6R minus uh, 3R plus, and then if I replace S by 6R, it's going to be minus 6r. We can see these these are going to cancel out. Um, and then plus 12r, which is going to simply leave me 0 and 9r. So essentially, I can see the magnitude of the vector is just going to be 9r. So either 9r must equal 3 or 9r must equal minus 3, because it could go in either direction. If you're not too confident about that, you could actually do Pythagoras' theorem. Z 0 squared plus 9r squared must equal 3 squared. That would give us 81r squared equals 9. Um, r squared is equal to 1 over 9. And r is going to be plus or minus one third by taking the square root. Actually, that's what I get here. By but I have to make sure that I get I consider the positive and the negative. I'm just that was just me saying that if you if it wasn't quite clear, then you could have done that. So I just now need to um, find the s value that goes with that. So if r is equal to a third, well s is six r, so it's going to be two. That's going to be one pair of solutions. Or r is equal to minus a third, in which case s is going to equal minus 2.